All right, this time I'm going to do something a little different. See, recently I gave a speech in speech class here at USM, and my grandmother really wanted to see the speech. So I figured I'd do a video, but it's not just going to be me giving the speech. I'm going to adapt it to a video format. So it's not technically a speech, but you'll get an idea for what it would have been like. Have you ever piloted a spaceship? Have you ever built your own roller coaster and then ridden it? Have you ever, uh, have you ever been on an African safari? How about replacing the dummy in a test run for a car? I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to get the most out of a trip to Walt Disney World. By the end of this video, you should be able to make decisions that will lead to the best Disney trip you could possibly have. You see, Walt Disney World is the most magical place on earth and it has something to offer everyone of every age. It just does. Now, I'm telling you this because according to a report from the Themed Entertainment Association in 2010, the top eight most visited theme parks in the world are all Disney theme parks. And, and the Disney, Disney just dominates the whole list up to the top 20 and so forth. So based off that statistic, at some point in your life, if you haven't already, you're probably going to be planning a trip to Walt Disney World. I'm going to talk to you about building the excitement, I'm going to talk to you about planning the trip, and then I'm going to talk to you about discovering the magic. Alright, so first you want to start building the excitement. You want to get excited for your trip. And one way to do this is to watch Disney movies. Uh, I know that as a kid, and even now, and probably especially now, all I have to do is start watching a Disney movie, and I get excited, and I want to go to Disney World. Because there's that opening scene where it goes over the river, and then it looks up at the Disney castle, and Walt Disney World sparkles over the top, and I just, oh, it melts my heart and makes me want to go to Disney. And so, that, just watch Disney movies. If your favorite movie is Pirates of the Caribbean, if it's The Lion King, if it's uh, Princess and the Frog, I don't care. Watch Disney movies. It builds your excitement, I promise. Now see, the next thing you can do to build excitement is to learn about the hidden magic. See, Susan Vaness in her book, The Hidden Magic of Walt Disney World, says that there are over 600 secrets hidden throughout the four theme parks, you know, the four kingdoms of Walt Disney World. Ah, there are hidden Mickeys. There are little bonus little fun things, like at the end of the Splash Mountain ride, I bet you didn't know that at the very end a gopher pops out of the top and yells, Go FSU! There's a million things like that all over the parks, and there you wouldn't you wouldn't know that they were there if you didn't know to look for them. So simply look through books, read the hidden magic of Walt Disney World, and look forward to trying to find those. That helps build your excitement. All right, so you know, awesome, build your excitement, great. Now the next thing is you want to plan the week, uh, the whole week is in its entirety. And the first step is to uh, to to make a budget, set a budget for yourself. Now see, you can stay on Disney property for anywhere from fifty to five hundred dollars a night. So don't let your budget stop you. There, you can go just. Don't let budget stop you. There's a Disney vacation for every budget. Second, you want to plan the date. You want to go in the summer or on a holiday. You also want to think about the crowds. You see, the Marks family, who are the authors of Passporters Walt Disney World, they say that the busiest time to go is the holidays, with the summer following a close second. So you want to take the crowds into consideration, but conversely, those busy times, like the holidays, they can also be some of the best times. So in the end, it really matters what you want when you're considering the crowds. Another thing to do during this time period where you're planning your week is your ADRs, which is your advanced dining reservations. You see, if you're planning a table dinner while you're going to be there, you want to start early calling ahead and saying, hey, we need a reservation for this many at this time. Because I'm telling you, if you try to do that while you're there, it's highly unlikely you'll get in. Because these restaurants, those nice table dinner places, they book up. So you need to go ahead and take care of that right now. Also, the second step in planning the trip uh, is to plan your days uh, individually. You want to consider where everybody else is going to be and go somewhere else. You know, like, say you get to the Magic Kingdom when the park opens. The gates open and everyone starts flooding in, and where do they go? They rush to, say, Space Mountain. They want to go ride the rides before the lines get too crazy. Everyone's going that way, so why don't you go to the Haunted Mansion instead and then make the loop that way? So you want to avoid as many crowds as possible. You see, like Mike Hewell says on tourguidemike.com, and I'm, and I'm quoting here, so let me... <clears throat> Learn what they, the crowds, will do each day and do the opposite whenever possible. Zag when they zig, and it goes on. 
This helps you maximize your time in the parks, no matter how busy it is. All right, now that's uh, that's that's getting excited. That's building your excitement before the trip, planning the trip. Now, are you ready for the best part? Discovering the magic. All right, now you want to follow your plan. That's the first step in discovering the magic. You've made the plan. You've done the work. You've put it together. You've done all the hard work. You've researched your hidden Mickeys, and you you know where you're going to go to find those. So now follow your plan. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the trip. And go ride the rides and go find those hidden Mickeys and really discover the magic of Walt Disney World. Go find out what makes Disney Disney. But now also, don't follow the plan. But didn't you just tell me to follow the plan, Connor? Yeah, yeah, I did, I did. But but hold on, this is what I mean by don't follow the plan. You see, if you get too caught up in your plan, you, you might not make time for the little things that happen at Disney World. And I'm telling you, there's a ton of these little things. You don't want to get so caught up with your plan that you don't make time for them. For example, imagine you're walking through Epcot and you pass Japan. And the candy lady starts coming out. She brings out her cart and she do, starts doing her candy demonstration where she makes just these beautiful candy sculptures. You want to have time to just stop by and watch. It's really an enjoyable thing. If you're so caught up in your, in your plan, they are like, no, 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 we got to get to this place right now. You're going to miss those little moments that really, really make a Disney trip. And so you might feel like you've rushed through your entire vacation and completely missed the whole point and all the magic of Disney World. So you definitely don't want to get too caught up in your plan. So now I dare say you're close to ready for your own adventure. There's a lot more stuff I could cover uh, in, in this little video, and there's a lot more stuff you can learn. So just go go get some books like Passporters Walt Disney World or, or The Hidden Magic and learn more about what there is in Disney World. What I've covered is only a small amount of what you really need to know to get the best out of a Disney trip, but I'm hoping what I've told you will get you started. So uh, go go have fun time go do that it's it's been great we covered we covered building the excitement we covered planning the trip and we also covered going and having the best time possible so my question to you is have you ever piloted a spaceship i've done that have you ever uh have you ever been on an african safari i've done that too Nah, I've I've never been to space and i've not even been to africa but thanks to the magic that is Walt Disney World, uh, my favorite place on earth. I've been able to discover what I normally might never have been able to to go and experience truly, and it's 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 just a blast. So if you ever find yourself planning your own little Disney trip, take a little bit about what I've talked about in this video and go and have the best time possible. It's really my favorite place, and, and, and I promise you, it doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are, Disney World is the best place ever. All right, well, that's that. This is probably going to end up being a little longer than the speech was. I had to cram all that into three or five minutes, which I actually did really well. But there you go. That's what it was, and I hope you've got an idea. I love Disney World. I'm going to be working at Disney World very just, just next semester. Oh, I'm so excited. It's, it's super exciting. I got the job, and I'm going to go move to Florida and work at Disney World. But anyway, besides that, that's enough for this video. Thanks for watching. DFTBA, please, please, please hit that subscribe button right up above me, and please also click that like button. It really helps me out. It makes me feel good inside. It just makes me feel like you love me, and I know you do. So please just hit that, and I'll uh, see you guys next time.